Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can visualize your data in Excel 2007. No, not by creating charts, but by taking advantage of the conditional formatting in Excel 2007. When we want to visualize our data, conditional formatting adds great tools to show our data as icon sets, data bars, and as color scales. Let's see how this works. Over here, we have one month's worth of average temperatures in the month. Rather than creating a chart, I'm going to use a data bar. So first, let's select the average temperatures. I'll use the keyboard shortcut, Control shift down arrow to select the average temperatures. Now, from the Home tab of the ribbon, over here in the Styles group, choose Conditional Formatting. Now, I'm going to select either a data bar, a color scale, or an icon set. Let's start with a data bar. Let's take advantage of Live Preview. So, Live Preview gives us a preview of what these different colors will look like in the data bar. Let's choose the blue color. And now we have a visualization of the temperatures right there in our Excel worksheet. No need to create a chart. And of course, we can make this more dramatic by just increasing the width of the column. So there we can see at a glance where the fluctuations were, where the high temperatures, where the low temperatures. It's the equivalent of having a bar chart, but it, right, it resides inside your data set. All right, let's come over and take a look at icon sets. Here we have 12 months of sales. Now it's important here when we're selecting that we not select the cell that includes the total. That would throw off our scale. So let's select the 12 months of sales. Once again, Home tab in the Styles group, Conditional Formatting. This time we're going to use icon sets. Now icon sets are available in groups of three in groups of four and in groups of five. So we have 12 months. I want to be able to see the top third, the middle third, and the bottom third. So again, I can take advantage of live preview to see how this will be represented in my data. So now, at a glance, I can see the months that were in the top third, the months that are in the bottom, middle third, and the months that are in the bottom third. So these are the icon sets, groups of three, four, or five. Make sure, again, that when you're selecting it to exclude the cell that contains your total. Now, let's come over and take a look at color scales. Here we have direct response offers, and I want to be able to see the gradations. I want to be able to see how the sales vary. Once again, make the selection. I'll use Control shift down arrow to select the responses. Home tab of the ribbon, Styles, Conditional Formatting, and this time we're going to use Color Scales. Live Preview shows us what the color scale will look like, so let's select this one. Now, of course, I prefer when I'm using a color scale to have my data organized. So one way to organize our data, in other words, have it from top to bottom, would be to come over here onto the Data tab of the ribbon and choose in the Sort and Filter group, Sort. Now, in Excel 2007, we can actually sort on color. So over here, if I want to sort on the responses, I select responses, and instead of sorting on values, which of course would be easy, I can sort on color. So if I want to sort on the cell color, I could make that selection. For right now, the values will be great, uh, or an easy way to do it, and let's do it from largest to smallest, click OK. So now I've grouped the data close together. So there you've seen how you can take advantage of conditional formatting tools in Excel 2007 to visualize your data right in the sheet. No need to have to go through the time and the trouble to create a separate chart. And I'll see you in the next lesson.